hello and welcome again to this new video tutorial so let's go ahead today as you see here in the default presto shop the behavior on the front page we have some tabs we call the home tabs so you see here new arrival popular best seller and special so one of my customer asked me that he want to display these, these uh, let's say this product this special product this product sorry <coughs> not in the front office but in uh, another page another specific page so let's go ahead and see what we can do so if I refresh here I will start from scratch I get an 404 error so first first of all I will create a folder com call it controllers and in this controller I will create a PHP class a normal PHP class I will call this oh sorry for before that I will need to create another folder call it front which means a front controller so this makes sense I guess and another class so in my case I will call it uh, like PS for example like product special or SP would be better special product and here I will create a class call it block specials uh, this should be actually normal so it's comma case as you see sp uh, front controller control uh, okay I hope I did not mess this around so let's check some existing modules we have this guy here font payment so it's like there's some rules on typing the name of controllers for modules as you know as okay so we have uh, the module name then the name of the controller then module front control this is what I need for the moment and extend all this line pay back here yep. Okay, perfect. Then we I will create public function that is actually inherited from the parent, which is init content, and I will return the parent init init content. Then let's start playing around here. We need to go back to the default controller class and look for something for the hook well you may say what the hell is this hook anyway <laughs> just stay around stay, stay tuned and uh, you will understand everything so we have content tab okay tab content sorry. there we go home display tab content we need to copy this little line back here and there is the other function that content tab we need to copy almost all this function so starting from here till here and we will change some stuff right there we get a bigger screen this guy right here so let's change this to better name like uh, special rods Okay, that makes sense now. And let's get rid of this line. Phrases, this one too. This, okay, I guess we're good. So this has become this. Um, home size, and it's up to you guys to play around with this later. It's not important right now for this tutorial and we return we need to change this well also here we need to change this to context to make things running well and we change this to set template um, okay we don't need that okay we keep it uh, okay you should get cage you can remove this okay so normally we good one more thing is to create this template here actually I will not create it I will just uh, recopy it from the existing one so we go to under template we have hook we need to create a new folder called the front here front 
and we just copy this uh, block special who this one we copy we paste it right there save this guy go back here um, change this to SP I guess and hope that things go oh wow uh, let's see what's going on here okay uh, I will pause the video and I'll be back welcome back and uh, sorry for this interruption the problem was that I used a variable called params here and it was not defined as you see here so it just it's a global parameter you just need oh, I just needed to insert this little line here to make things run and let's go ahead and test what things look like okay and there we go so we have module module block uh, block special and our control SP <coughs> sorry and as you see here we have our special products where well, for the moment they are not really perfect in terms of design so we, the important of this tutorial is how to make things run after this it's up to you to modify and to change the presentation that's it for this little tutorial thanks for watching and stay tuned